Jesus is coming and we need to be ready. He said many of us are in a place of, in a status of pending, meaning you're in the middle of having eternal life and not having eternal life. You're right in the middle. This life here, in fact, is pending. It's just a place of hold. It's, we're just in a place of holding. This is where we are until we leave here and have eternity with him or in hell. Let's acknowledge him. Jesus, we thank you and praise you for teaching us your way, for showing us truth, showing us things to come, for warning us over and over again. Thank you for your truth. We love you and praise you and give you all the glory. In Matthew, it says in verse 24, four, chapter 24, 14, the good news of the kingdom of God will be preached throughout the world as a testimony to all the nations, and then the end will come. And then it'll be too late, is what Jesus wants us to say today. And just like Jesus prayed for Peter, he's praying for you. He's praying for us. Have an ear to hear what he is saying. Pay attention, because when it's too late, it's too late. When it started raining in the day of Noah, it was too late to get on the ark. When you see Jesus coming on the clouds, it's going to be too late to change your mind. He said, not everyone who calls me Lord. You can't fake it. Not everyone who calls me Lord will enter into the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father. And many will say, but Lord, I did this and I did that for you. And he's going to say, away from me, I never knew you. It's going to be too late. So you've got to find out now the truth. Get up every day, look at the word, or you're going to be fooled. The enemy's going to pull the rug out from under you. He's going to say, you don't have to do that. God isn't real. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Everyone goes to heaven. Lies, lies, lies. And those lies that you believe are putting you in that category of pending. Are you going to have eternal life? Then you got serious, got to get serious about doing the full will of God. He said that if you break one law, you break all the law. So do the will of God. Do all the law. Be a part of his kingdom. Doing his will. Know his will. And then going out and doing his work and letting those who don't know, know. He's coming. And if you haven't been involved in his life, the time that you've had pending here, well, search out your eternity. Will you live forever with the enemy because you didn't do as well? Or is your life about getting up and doing as well to make sure you have eternal life with him? Get up every day and look to Jesus. If you want to live with him, then you have to have your sights on him. You have to understand this is, our, this is just a holding ground. We're not going to be here forever. The earth is going to burn. And you have to decide where you want to be. You don't want to be on the fence. You don't want to be lukewarm. Then you're going to be in the category of sometimes doing the will of the Father and sometimes not. And that makes you lukewarm. And he's going to spit you out of his mouth. Those who don't know, we're responsible of helping them to know. Preaching the gospel, telling them. The kingdom of God is upon you, and you got to make a choice. You have to decide the end is near. Jesus said in verse 33, he said, So when you see these signs all taken together, coming to pass, you know of surety that the time is near, and he is at the very doors. If you're looking in the spiritual realm, you'll plainly see where your life stands. Where is it pending? We have to look into the Spirit, and we can't do that without Jesus. We can't see what's happening without Him. And He sent me to tell you 
the status is right now, many lives are pending. Which way are you going to go? He's separating the sheep from the goats. The time is near. He's warning us over and over again. The only way you're going to have eternal life is if you take it by force. The kingdom of God is taken by force. And the only way you're going to know what's going on is if Jesus is living on the inside of you. If you can hear his spirit speaking to you and guiding you. Do his work. Be a part of his life. Care about what he cares about. And know this life here is pending. And we don't know how long. You know, sometimes your, your checks, they can pend. Your transactions in your bank account, they can pend for five, six, seven, eight days. And then, either they went through or they didn't. Right? And so we don't know how long this time is pending, but it's pending. And your life is pending. Your choices are pending. When the time is up, when, when Jesus is to open the door, then wherever you were, almost getting your name blotted out of the book of life, but you turned and overcame, then that transaction went through. If you were just on the, on the edge of giving up, and you didn't give up, eternal life. If you're on the edge of quitting and you quit, then your name is blotted out of the book of life. It's scary. But we are called to be overcomers, and when Jesus lives on the inside of you, you have the power to overcome. But if you're listening to the enemy, you're defeated. You will be defeated and live your eternal life with him. So Jesus wanted you to know it's happening in the spiritual realm. Get on your knees. Worship him. Look at the word of God. Find out where you're at. Let him correct you. He corrects you because he loves you. If you don't take that correction, he's going to say, I didn't know you. I didn't know you. If you didn't forgive, your life is pending. You won't have eternal life if you don't forgive. If you won't love, everything's on hold. Jesus is coming, and we have to take those words seriously. He's been holding back. Because many are just on the edge, just on the edge. Are you going to fall into hell? Are you just on the edge? Or are you busy making your way to eternal life? Are you taking the kingdom by force? Are you resisting the enemy? Are you... Are, is he lying to you and you don't even know it? If you don't know it, he's just going to overtake you. He's going around looking for who he can devour. And if you don't know the word of God, if you don't know the truth, if God's spirit isn't living on the inside of you, instructing you, you're not going to make it. Our lives are pending. It's time to quickly do something before you see Jesus on the clouds. Lord, help us to take this word seriously and know that our lives are pending upon our choices. Thank you for showing us today that a choice has to be made and it has to be made soon. And we can't be half in and half out. We can't be pending. But we have to make the choice to serve you.
come live on the inside of us. We commit to do your will. Teach us, Lord. Prepare us. Show us how to watch and pray. Show us, Lord. Show us what show us what we don't know. Show us what we don't know. We love you and praise you. Give you all the glory. If you didn't pray that prayer with me, pray that on your own. Ask him to show you the truth. Show you what you need to do, where you're at, so that you can have eternal life. You don't want to be deceived. Don't go to a man. Go to Jesus. Ask him to come and live on the inside of you. And then commit to do whatever he tells you to do. And you will have eternal life. Thank you so much for listening today. God bless you.